Hey Kaiju fans, it's Tomo KD1 coming at you with another figure review. So it's a little different. I'm gonna be reviewing something new for you guys. It's uh, X Plus. This is the Yuji Sakai Godzilla 1991. It's an X Plus figure, it's something a little different for me. This is the previews exclusive. And uh, this is my first X Plus. Um, probably not gonna be my last. The only ones I'm going to really buy, like I've said before, are going to be the Gigantics. I'm currently waiting on the Bluefin GMK, big bad motherfucker. But um, this one right here is is no less than that, I mean, other than in size, but in personality, man. I mean, X Plus really came through with this big time. Now, I'm not an X Plus guy. I'm more into Safuvi, stylized. But um, as far as presence goes and suit accuracy this thing is just out of the park and i know that this figure's been um reviewed to death and whatnot but uh i got pushed by a couple of friends go ahead and do this so i decided fuck it i'll go ahead and do it now the godzilla 91 godzilla versus mega king Ghidorah, or king Ghidorah, um was very impactful to me when i saw that movie i was like wow this is the most how could i put it just yoked up aggressive looking Godzilla that I had seen to date and even now even compared to like the Godzilla from Mecha Godzilla you know Heisei because this is the Heisei Godzilla but I mean the only other one that I figure looks as vicious as this guy from that series would be the Bio Ante Bio Goji this is the Gito Goji but um you know I'm sure all of you guys have seen that the Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, if not, I recommend it. It's a fantastic movie. It's awesome. Um, it is a little weird with the whole future and things. And what it is is that some people came from the future to, um, I guess, help Japan get rid of Godzilla because of this nuclear holocaust that he was going to cause. And um, it turns out it was just a part of their plan to get rid of Godzilla, make their own creature. That they would be able to control which is King Ghidorah now this this figure is amazing it's super amazing so um what happens is that they get rid of Godzilla you know they go back in time they get rid of his Godzilla swords they put him in the ocean but shit goes wrong it's a Godzilla movie he comes back and he's stronger bigger than ever okay but check out the movie I'm not gonna go over to it too much of that but um this was a very impactful Godzilla I loved his roar you know what I'm saying in this movie and it fit it fit the, the suit beautifully so we're gonna go ahead and go over some of the dimensions on this guy now this guy is 30 centimeters stands about a foot tall and uh it's, it's fantastic guys it's I mean wow you know and again I'm not um an X plus guy and this isn't gonna make me an X plus guy by any means but um I do want to go ahead and just share this because it's in my collection and reviews is what I do. This is the box that it came in right here. Very awesome box. Um, now X Plus, they're not, they're not much for the boxes. You know, it's pretty much just the cover art. But other than that, you just pretty much got a blank cardboard box with the legal jargon right here in the back. Okay. So, very nice. Let me get that out of the way for you guys. And um, let's get back to the figure here. Now. The details are amazing, amazing. A lot of depth to this. Uh, it's nothing like Sufubis, you know, the, the figures that I'm more into. This is more suit accurate. It's is super suit accurate. So if you're into suit accurate stuff, this is pretty much what you want to get, okay? You get a close look at the eye right here. Oh yeah. The teeth are done beautifully and you can see through all the way through so it's not solid you could see right here where this is the, the joint or the seam right here under the jaw it's not too noticeable unless you really look but I mean it's super amazing look I mean god damn he just looks pissed off he's gonna rip somebody's head off you know what I mean King Ghidorah that snarl on him it's got a bit of a snarl the eye it's glossy now one thing you do need about this figure now that this happened you need to know it's it's come with a stand okay that's what you got for the stand and that pretty much goes under the tail like so 
and it'll make his feet sit proper. Okay. Let me give you some more closer views. This is what the part that I had to put in right here. All you have to do is hit this again, you know, squishy soft, hit it with your blow dryer. And then there's another seam right here. That's the other piece of the tail that comes in. So all you really have to do is connect this piece to this piece and then this piece to the ass. Let's go over the dorsals real quick. While I'm at it here, get rid of this box. Okay. Dorsal plates on this thing are amazing. Every inch of this figure is highly detailed. Uh, again, this is a Yuji Sakai sculpt, so he's not gonna disappoint. He's, he nails it, I mean, fuck. And if you guys like um, suit accuracy, my recommendations would be stick to X Plus, or if you like suit accuracy with articulation, then you hit up uh, SH Monster Arts. I had a ton of SH Monster Arts, but I got rid of most of them. I only kept the ones I liked, and all the ones I liked were the Gojis. Everything else I pretty much got rid of. The nails are done in this um, bone color. It's got really nice grading from the tip of the nail over to the base right here where it connects. You can see that. And just a whole ton of details. Everywhere, every angle that you look at this figure from is just amazing and factual. You know, and I just see it like right here when he's stomping through the city. I mean, wow. Yuji Sakai really nailed it with this thing. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you guys a size comparison. One thing to note, like I said, this is um, X Plus, so there is no articulation in this figure. But it doesn't really need it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a size comparison. It's going to be a little difficult because this is big. And um, I thought it appropriate to bring in a King Ghidorah. Now this is the Giga Brain Gold King Ghidorah closed mouth variant. Very awesome. Got it from my homeboy Jeffrey Mullick off the Godzilla Collectors Group, uh, Hedoric Fanatics Club. Very awesome guy. Hello. Thank you, Jeffrey. You're my buddy. But you could, oh my God. They scale up pretty nicely with each other. But again, you know, Giga Brain is a stylized figure. It's a soft vinyl and it's just completely different sculpt. See how they stand side by side? Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> This thing is definitely awesome. It was a gift. And, um, you know, thank you. Thank you, Adrian, homeboy. I'm sorry if I'm having trouble getting them all into the camera. I mean, he's just, he's huge. It's not, it's not like what I'm used to doing. I can't wait to get my, my X Plus gigantic GMK. I'm going to have a fun time reviewing that. And just awesome, spectacular from every angle. I love the way that there's that gloss right there in the eye. That snarl. Got the teeth. Very, very beautiful. Fresh vinyl, bam, Rikiso. You know, this is this is amazing. Um, yeah, the smell is very different from what you get from a stylized figure, Safuvi Marmit, you know. Giga brain, uh, but you can definitely smell it. Very nice, very stenchy. And um, you know, if if you're into um, suit accuracy, like I said, I would def definitely recommend you pick this up. I'm not into these kind of figures. I'm more into, like I said, stylized Sofubi. That's my shit right there. But you know, it's not to take anything away. From the X Plus, X Plus is a, a formidable line, badass line, and just, oh my god, awesome. So, there you guys have it. Uh, if you guys want to see any different figures or any ideas or anything, go ahead and hit them up. Hit me up in the comments, let me know, um, and I'll be bringing more reviews. I'm actually going to do another one later today, so you guys will have this to watch, and uh, 
get another one and this is part of my Christmas haul again so I'll probably be reviewing the other piece of my Christmas haul and it, here let me just show you this real quick even the inside of the hand there has texture just awesome 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 let me show you the bottom you see they don't skip anything licensing right here every part of this thing has detail I don't know what the fuck that pimple right there is about but uh, other than that it's awesome 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 so there you guys have it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, look forward to you know having you guys around for the next one and like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think what you guys want to see and um, hopefully I can get it to you guys enjoy your day again happy new year's to everyone this is the first video of the year uh, it's gonna be an amazing year G Fest coming up hope to see a lot of you guys there it's gonna be my first one and um, again have a great day take care of yourselves see you guys in the next video goodbye